What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today we're gonna to be talking about the five items for uh, grid down bartering, the top five items, my opinion. And, you know, whenever the infrastructure goes down, um, initially cash and stuff like that will still be in the works. I was, uh, I guess maybe eight or nine years ago, maybe 10 years ago, there was a massive hurricane that came through my area and the uh, gas stations actually started charging, I think, $6 a gallon for uh, gas. And, you know, a lot of times when bad things happen like that, people will, you know, capitalize initially in the beginning stages on, on money. Um, but after a certain amount of time, money isn't going to mean anything. You know, uh, it's going to be about equipment, uh, food and water and all that kind of stuff, what people need. And, you know, long term, uh, this may, you know, vary depending on how long the situation is but this is uh we're talking about the first you know few months of a situation and maybe uh, uh up to a year if some kind of catastrophic event happened um the first thing that i would say is probably the biggest is uh, ammunition and with that common calibers um you know 223 9 millimeter uh, 45 um, 12 gauge shotgun shells uh, 22 definitely 22 uh, ammo and stuff like that so ammunition big deal magazines like this one um, and, and stuff like that uh, weapons cleaning kits and, and things like that anything to uh, make a firearm function is probably a big deal beyond that and this may even be the the bigger one is something like a me medical supplies and the, uh, and this gear is just a representation. I'm not saying this particular gear, but you know, m uh, medical equipment, uh, especially antibiotics. Um, you know, uh, various antibiotics. So especially a lot of people store fish antibiotics because they work the same um, as far as the, the human counterparts. But you know, also gauze bandages, all that kind of stuff, sutures, all those kind of things um, will be big as well. But like I said, primarily antibiotics, I believe, will be a big thing. Number three, and this may be even the top of the list for a lot of people, is ha what I call habit items. Caffeine, alcohol, and tobacco. Uh, most people in today's society can't function with, with, with those three, without those three things. You know, a lot of people have addiction problems. So those would be big. You know, if you look in prison, a lot of times in prison, uh, t tobacco is a uh, used as currency. You know, and I've even heard from guys uh, that have been in prison say that, you know, tobacco is worth more than even getting uh, drugs or alcohol in, in, in prison. So, um, to them. So, definitely that, you know, alcohol and caffeine, definitely. Every, I, probably all of us are caffeine addicted and you just don't know it. You cut caffeine out, you'll realize you start getting headaches immediately um, from that. The next thing will be food and water and or ways to procure them. Um, you know, I just got mountain house meals here, but things like rice, beans, stuff like that. Uh, maybe it is mountain house, maybe it's MREs, um, you know, clean water, water purification devices. And I got this, this is a lifesaver to me, one of probably one of the best water filtration systems. I got this from Camping Survival. And a lot of these items here that I'm talking about, you can get from Camping Survival. I believe they have uh, various fish antibiotics as well, but there's probably one of the top of the line filters. I'll put the link for Camping Survival um, for this filter uh, below. I'll probably do a video on this uh, sometime in the future on using this filter, but it's an uh, amazing filter um, bottle, so it holds the water as well. So you can have filter your water and carry water. But something like a water purification device, water purification tablets, seeds, uh, things like that uh, would also be beneficial. The last thing I'd say is probably useful tools, you know, things to build stuff, repair things, maybe it's vehicle tools, maybe it's vehicle parts, gasoline, stuff like that. Um, maybe it's uh, things like axes, maybe it's flashlights, batteries, multi-tools, maybe it's even fire making equipment, um, lighters, stuff like that. So having those items, uh, being able to trade something somebody may, may need, you know, maybe it's generators, uh, you know, stuff like that. Maybe it's fixed blade knives, like I said, gasoline, things to uh, help better someone's situation. Those will also be high priority items. But those are the five groups of the things I think will be most critical to have in a bartering situation. Uh, you know, gold and stuff like that. If there's nothing to, you know, there's no way to gain economic uh, superiority off gold or silver or anything like that, what's the point of having it? 
um, an axe or gasoline may be worth way more than that. So anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Check out Camping Survival. You can find all this gear and equipment there. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.